learners welcome to our new english class are you happy are you doing fine i think all of you are happy and i believe you already wrote the diary of the fat boy dears i too wrote that day's diary the diary of the fat boy do you want to listen do you want to hear my diary shall i read listen carefully 8 6 twenty one Friday. I saw a girl floating a paper boat. I pounced upon it and destroyed it. The girl stared at me and ran away. To my surprise, the girl came back and gave me a couple of paper boats. I felt guilty. Why did I destroy her boat? We floated our boats down the stream. Her boat got stuck and I got a chance to help her. Thank God, I got a good friend today. Children, do you like my diary? How was it? The date, day, the event of the day, the situation of the day, the mood, emotion of the characters all were mentioned in that. Your diary is also like this, I think. Isn't it? Congrats to all. You have done a great job. Dear students, now I want to ask you something. Do you have friends? Can you say their names? Okay, you are saying your best friends names. I also have many friends. Oh, you have got many friends. Ammu, Appu, Lini, Mini, Sini. Oh, endless friends. You have got many friends than me. Good, very good. Children, now look at this picture. Who are there in the picture? Can you say? Anna and Fat Boy. No. Are they friends? How can we say they are true friends? Yes, Anna handed over the paper boats to fat boy. So, are they friends? What else can you see in the picture? You can see Anna and fat boy in the picture. What else can you see in the picture? Oh, you said it. You can see a coconut tree. Then what else you can see in the picture? Oh, someone said there are Small huts in the picture. Small house. Huts. Small huts in the picture. You can see. What else? Oh, there is someone saying. You can see grass in the picture. Right? You can see grass. You can see huts. And you can see paper boat also. The important one is stream. They are standing near a stream. So, you said. You can see Anna, Fat Boy, Paper Boat, Stream, Huts, Coconut Trees and Grass in that picture. Am I right? Dear friends, now we can see the next part of the story. Are you ready? The title is A True Friendship. Anna gently launched her boat swiftly. The boat Sailed down the stream. The boy stood there watching it. A faint smile appeared on his lips. Anna looked at the boy through the corner of her eyes. Looked at the boy through corner of her eyes. Suddenly, she saw the boat getting caught in the heap of mud and stones. Water splashed against it. And slowly flooded it. In a flash, the boy jumped into the stream and pulled the boat out of the water. He gave it to Anna. She took the boat and smiled. The boy smiled back pleasantly. Anna gently placed another boat in the stream. It sailed swiftly and drifted past. Soon, it was out of sight. Anna and the boy looked at each other and smiled. Anna 
gently launched her boat swiftly. The boat sailed down the stream. The boy stood there watching it. A faint smile appeared on his lips. Anna looked at the boy through the corner of her eyes. Looked at the boy through corner of her eyes. Suddenly, she saw the boat getting caught in the heap of mud and stones. Water splashed against it and slowly flooded it. In a flash, the boy jumped into the stream and pulled the boat out of the water. He gave it to Anna. She took the boat and smiled. The boy smiled back pleasantly. Anna gently placed another boat in the stream. It sailed swiftly and drifted past. Soon it was out of sight. Anna and the boy looked at each other and smiled. Now it's your turn to find out the words I am showing here in your textbook. Are you ready? Find out the word fast and underline it. Okay. Can you read this word? Heap. Did you find it in your textbook? Underline the word heap. See the next word. Read along with me. Splash. Splash. Say. All of you say. Splash. Read it. Heap. Shall we go to the next word? Can you read it? F L O O D. Flood. Flood. Can you read it? Now look at this word. Do you remember this word in the story? The boy smiled back pleasantly. Pleasantly. Can you see it in the textbook? Pleasantly. Underline it. Now look at the last word. Faint. Can you see it in the textbook? Spell the word faint. F A I N T. Faint. A faint smile. Do you remember? Now we are going to read these words again. So when you read your textbook, you can recall it very fastly. And it will make your reading easy. Heap. Splash. Flood. Pleasantly. Faint. And one more word is there. Drift. Now dears, look at this blank space. Nothing is written here, isn't it? Can you recall all the words we have familiarized now? Who can say all the six words? Can you say two words? Heap, splash. Yes, once again I will show. Now can you recall? Heap, splash, flood, pleasantly, faint and the last word, drift. Oh, you can remember it. Good. Just find out the sentences in the textbook where these words come. Now, it's time to wind up this class. But you have an assignment, a homework. Can I give? Very simple and very easy. You said that you have many friends. Among them, who is your best friend? Can you write a small description about your best friend? Don't forget to write about his or her hobbies. What are their hobbies? You should write. And also, you should mention their favorite things. Their favorite colors, favorite actors. You can write everything in your description. Surely you have to write his or her name, place, and why did you like her or him very much? Okay, will you write about your best friend? Thank you. We will meet again. Bye-bye.